Okay, so now let's take a look at an example of how to extract the reduced density matrix in Qiskit using a partial trace. So as before, let's do from Qiskit import quantum circuit and import uh, Qiskit quantum info as QI. And let's also from math import the square root. So let's first define the circuit for a bell state. So the same example we worked on um, the previous video. So define a quantum circuit with two qubits, apply a Hallmark gate on qubit one, and a CX gate between qubits one and qubit zero. Let's draw our circuit to make sure it looks okay. Okay, so here we have it. And as before, we said that this qubit one is going to belong to Alice and qubit zero belongs to Bob. And we want to extract the reduced density matrix for, for Bob's qubit. So let's first look at the total density matrix of our system. Let's call it rho AB. And we can use the density matrix class in quantum info uh, by passing the circuit. And let's just look at what we get. So we get this four by four density matrix. And in Qiskit is very easy to extract a partial trace. So what we do is let's define a row B for Bob's uh, reduced density matrix. And what we can do is QI partial trace, and then we pass the density matrix for the full system and a list of the qubits that we want to trace out. So in this case, we want to get Bob's reduced density matrix. So we need to trace out Alice's qubit, which is qubit one. So we pass a one here, and then we can now look at row sub B, and it gives us one half, one half in the diagonal as we had previously derived. Now the reduced density matrix for Alice is gonna be the same because this is a symmetric system. So if we take a look at it, we also get one half and one half. So maybe let's look at another example where uh, we have something a bit more complicated. So let's define another state vector. Let's call it Zeta. And now let's use the, the state vector class in the quantum info module. And we're gonna define what is known as the W state. So that's given by one over square root of three times uh, the following uh, state vector. Now let's take a look at it. So it's given by one over root three of zero, zero, one, zero, one, zero, and one, zero, zero. So as you can see here, we have only a one on each of the three possible qubits. And now let's assume that our uh, subsystem A consists of qubits, let's say qubit zero and one, and subsystem B consists of qubit two. So we can define a density matrix, uh, let's call it, I don't know, omega or something like that. And we can do density matrix of zeta. Right? And let's look at that. So here we have the density matrix for our W state. So as we can see here, we have elements on the 0, 0, 1 uh, row and column and the 0, 1, 0 row and column and the 1, 0, 0 row and column. And if we're gonna trace out, let's say subsystem A, which is qubits 0 and 1, all we need to do is, well, we define Let's call it omega b and we're going to trace out so we do qi partial trace of our density matrix omega uh, we're going to trace out subsystem a so we're going to pass qubits zero and one and if we plot that we get the reduced density matrix for subsystem b which corresponds to just qubit two and you know this this reduced density matrix makes sense, right? It is telling us that we get a probability is two over three of getting state zero and a probability of one over three of getting state one. And why does that make sense? Well, if we just look at qubit two, well, we have two of the elements of our superposition at zero and only one at one. So it makes sense that when we trace out the other part of the system, 
qubits 0 and 1, that we will get this type of reduced density matrix. And we can do the same thing for subsystem A. And here, what we would do is trace out only qubit 2, and it will give us a 4 by 4 matrix with the corresponding elements that, that would be characteristic of just that subsystem. So as you can see, this is very convenient because it allows us to extract reduced density matrices very quickly without having to go through all the math that we went through in the previous video.